Azerbaijan number one seed overall in the men's bracket. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens there. Malta and Kosovo, the only two teams in the men's bracket without a win so far. So we know for Kosovo, that's the game of the last hope. They lost uh, a tough one in overtime against Albania, 16-15, which gave Albania the, the advantage into qualifying in the knockout round for the afternoon. I remind you the, the format as we have two pools. The first teams qualify directly to the semifinal in uh, all brackets, men's and women's. And then the second team will cross with the third team of the other group and vice versa. Kind of like a playing game into the semifinal. So we'll see Kosovo, the game of the last hope to stay alive and get to see another day or to be outed of the tournament, Ireland. Very, very good team. I really liked what I saw from those boys yesterday. So we're gonna see if uh, they're gonna keep up with the good work. They, they lost a tough one against Andorra. Andorra, very experienced team that did what they had to do to come out victorious. But it was a rough battle, very physical game. And uh, Ireland got some players you do not want to miss. I'm going to tell you. So we're going right away. Kosovo with the first ball, the check. And Jakupi trying for the long range, but as you can see, it's windy out here in Limassol. So you have to adjust as a player when you play in those kind of conditions. That's the beauty of 3x3. We're taking the game on all places. Could be outside, inside, by the beach, in the mall. You know. Oh, yes. In the air, 360. Is it artistic skating? I don't know. But Kian Ify with the dime of the day already. That combo with uh, Jordan Blount, you want to keep a lookout for. Those Irish boys, I was telling you, they got some highlight machines. They play with intensity. You better remember that team. They are trying desperately to join the party of the Europe Cup. So for those that didn't know, we only give out one ticket in both the men's and women's bracket. This is the last qualifier. I will tell you all about who has qualified already in the Europe Cup later on today during the afternoon. Right now, we're gonna stay focused on pool play. Good defense. You know the challenge to uh, lock down the interior and Jordan Blunt going at it like he meant it. Draws the foul. Second team foul against Kosovo. Free throw is off. Good defense from Ekupi. Tracy Jordan, he loves that spin. He got that full work. He got that soft touch. Yes, sir. And Ireland, the great defense. Lions fighting to get possession. As you know, 3x3 is going to be a more physical game. More contacts are allowed. Jakupi having to shoot it a little bit off the ball movement. Jordan Blount, oh yes, the sweet finish. Filet off the backboard. Jakupi going one on one. Always a tough matchup and Jordan Blount focused, drawing the foul and one. And he's letting Jakupi know, you cannot guard me, buddy. That's the way it is. I'm too strong for you, boom. Take one bump. Oh, trying to get the ball, can't do it. So, four zip. 
Ireland starting off the way they came into this tournament. It is windy, Jordan. You gotta adjust. So from my memories of, uh, of playing a challenger here before, let me tell you what I was doing and what all the other guys were doing. We were throwing out just straight cannonballs into the backboard <laughs> trying, to, <laughs> trying to make those free throws. It actually kind of worked pretty good. It actually did. Great pass. Wow. I like what I saw out of it. Sinani with the sweet dish. Laser pass. Getting Kosovo on the board. 4-1. Sinani draws the foul. I didn't even take the time to ask how you are doing. I hope you're doing all well. We are very good out here and the push in the back, a very obvious call. Atikoshi wanting to get that offensive board. Forgot about the fact that you cannot shove people out the way like that. Tracy. And now we're not whistling anything. We're letting the boys settle this like grown men in the paint. Long shot of the mark. Well, you got to play the game. You got to take them. That's a sweet take. Kianifi. And I don't know who, who was trying to pass us the ball. Guys, I retired. I can't shoot. I'm sitting down commentating those games, okay? Plus, it's windy. Leave me alone. So, Ireland, with a good defense, gets the ball back. And they collaborate. Two-man action. Those two connect so well. Kianifi and Jordan Blount. Jacopi stepping out of bounds. Good defense from Jordan Blount. TV timeout. Kosovo is going to have to think about how to go around the intensity of the Irish. 6-1. It's not a good look right now. main idea for Kosovo knowing that this is the last chance and it's a small one they need to just go all out first of all the defensive pressure got to go up and offensively they got to find a way to collaborate more the way Ireland is doing right now Tracy no love it was a good take though but the ball went Jim for dead on him the pie with the left Good contest from Jordan Blount. Blount says, I don't care about the win. Maybe you should, buddy. <laughs> oh, this brings memories. And that's the, that's the beauty of this game. You got to find a way to win. You got to find a way to acclimatate to whatever environment you're in and do it as a team. If I... Kicking it out to Yakubi, a little bit short. We know why. Kianifi, building up speed. Great take. So I was uh, mentioning that yesterday. Whenever you're just backing down defensively, as you know, it's windy, so you don't really believe in uh, your opponent's ability to knock shots down. There's one problem with that. They build up speed, and they come very powerful into the paint. So it becomes very difficult to contest them. The rebound from Lions, and they're giving right inside. Jordan Blount. No call. Kianifi. And Lions just scrappy, fighting. It's going to be a 12-second shot clock violation. But I like the intensity from Patrick Lyons.
I'm not gonna say he's playing like a lion because that's just too easy, right? Like y you saw that comment, like a mile away. It kind of is though. <laughs> Anyhow, great take, Tinani with the fake, Tinani. I like what I saw, but then we gotta get back on the defensive end. And uh, Ireland, Tracy, and Blount just dominating close. This is a travel. That's not the first time in this tournament. Sinani usually lets that pivot foot slip with the motion. So check ball, Ireland at the top. The slip, Kenefi and Tracy. Gets the ball, and he's just so scrappy. Stayed with it. But then, hyped as he was, he started putting ball pressure on the bar. And the problem is, you can't do it in the half circle. You got to let the offense settle a little bit. Jakupi fighting. Jakupi almost getting it. Mino and Lions just going for the ball, he's always trying to get that defensive rebound. And I like your mouthpiece, by the way. Irish colors, huh? Customized. Back door, and that's nice. This is what Kosovo needs to do. Work together. Tracy taking it right at Jakupi. And he draws a foul. But I like what I saw the last possession on offense for Kosovo. We didn't see enough of those. And that definitely makes the game harder. Tracy Belong. Jakupi. That was a good take. You got to finish. Kianifi to the cup. He's so nifty with it. Mid-range pull-up. Jordan Blount was not having any of it. And then he just locks in inside. Kapai could not push back. That's not the matchup that he was looking for. As you see, great job sealing the defender under the basket. Something we got to teach in all 3x3 academies. And that's a useful skill to have in 5 on 5 as well. So Jordan Blunt going 0 for 2. Papai with the rebound. And Koshi using speed against Jordan Blunt. And Kosovo getting no love. That was a good take. Uh oh. They didn't see Jordan. Good active hands. Kosovo trying to fight. And that's a big hit. Papai. That's a big hit. As I told you, you got to keep shooting, and sometimes the wind will leave you alone when you don't expect it. Tracy. The ball given back to Ireland, TV timeout. But Kosovo could have somehow a momentum shift. The problem is they're in the bonus already defensively. They've committed seven fouls, so Ireland will get two free throws on every new foul. Ireland the first two games, they dominated Albania 21-12 and then lost to Andorra 21-16. But that was clearly the game for the battle of the potential top seed of the group. Kianifi trying to go Air Jordan on this, but, and Lions once again fighting the great kick out. Kianifi thought about it. Kicks it out again, Tracy, 
no. Kosovo lost against Andorra 19-11 the first game. And as I mentioned, the battle against Albania. Lost 16-15 in overtime. A game that could have gone either way. A game that could have propelled potentially Kosovo into the knockout round. From the look of things, it's going to be quite difficult, especially with how Ireland's been playing. Jordan Blunt using the glass and getting no love. Jakupi a bit off to the left. Jakupi giving it up to Koshi. Jakupi needs to go to the basket. He's a little bit tired. I see him, he's gassed. He's trying to match up with Blunt. And Jordan Blunt is like, man, you can't be tired against me. You need all of your energy. Jakupi keeps shooting. Kosovo understand they need to uh, make up for the gap. A little floater action. And Lions. Hit the back of his head on the structure of the hoop. Those two were trying to box each other out, and we'll see it. So, actually, during the fall, Sinani took lines down with him. And Pepai. a good take. He's going to have one free throw. And Pepe off to the left as most people are these days. Oh yes. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I went so fast from the oh yes to oh no. That's a travesty, unfortunately, for Sir Tracy. Couldn't put the finishing touch on it. And please, Pepe, don't break the backboard. Great connection. Tracy, if you don't succeed at first, you stay with it, get the offensive board, and provoke a foul. He'll get one free throw. This game seems uh, quite clearly in control of the Irish Less than two minutes to go. 18 fouls against Kosovo. But you can never relax in 3x3. Things can turn around very quickly. And I'm sure you hear that wind right there in the mic. There's nothing I can do about it. Tracy, use the backboard, man. I'm telling you. Straight cannon bullet right here. Boom. Goes in. <laughs> <laughs> it was on the mark, a bit short, and Tracy using the left unsuccessfully. Jakupi. I like the battle those two are giving each other. Jakupi and Blount competing, doing it the right way. Sinani, that was a good take. Got to finish the work, though. Kianifi can count on his buddy, Tracy, to look out and box out. Good offensive rebound, up six, Island. Smelling the sweet smell of qualification into the knockout round with confidence. It's a team to reckon with. Jakupi had to battle real hard. Great pass back action. That's what you call the fast breaking 3x3. So 
Pat Lyons. Call for the foul. Island asking for the timeout. I see Shinani right there on my left, as you can see me. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Shinani, real tired. Sitting down. Those boys, they're giving their all, though. There's nothing that we can say. Kosovo fighting, trying. A lot of those uh, opportunities close to the basket just didn't fall through, unfortunately, for them. So a minute and six seconds. You can tell Jakupi is tired. Sinani off the mark. And Lions earning the foul. Koshi was bumping Lions out the way since the very beginning of the play. There you go. No discussion about that. And Lions on the mark, but a bit short. So what did Lions do? He used the backboard. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> way to go, buddy. Jacopi using the backboard in a different way. Jordan Blount trying. Jordan Blount knocking it down. So now it's a 10-point lead. Technical foul against Sinani. Frustration, very obvious. Kosovo out the tournament. And Ireland taking care of business. Doing what they're supposed to do. Jordan Blunt knocking down the free throw. 11 point lead. They're gonna keep working on their craft. And Jordan Blunt just Taking it to the cup. Three seat, offensive board, once again. Those two do damage in the paint. Oh, no love, yet again, I did Papai. It's 10 seconds, don't really understand the point of this foul from Koshi. Knowing that uh, Kosovo is in the double bonus right now, so no matter what, you're not gonna get the ball back. And Jordan Blunt has figured out the win. He's just knocking them down at this point. One for two, 10 seconds left. Ireland just sh should probably just hold on to the ball right now. Jordan Blount going for it. And this game is over. Ireland dominated 18 to five. I told you, watch out for this team. I can tell you one thing, whoever finishes first does not want to cross with them. But hold on. Maybe Ireland will finish first because you don't know what can happen. Andorra and Albania still got to settle this. And we'll see that in a, a few minutes. Right now it's going to be Cyprus and Malta. Philip 
seat with our national team, Team Cyprus, with number 14, Frediago Georgios, with number 5, Ail Simon, with number 8, Georgiou Marios, and with number 6, Giliade Stefanos. Cheer up your team. Have a good game. All right, Cyprus going against Malta. Cyprus lost a heartbreaking game against Luxembourg in overtime. Could have gone either way. They almost had it, but didn't quite have it. But still, they were so close to have it and then didn't have it in the end. Cyprus lost 1917, but still presents itself as one of the favorites in this group. They definitely are worthy of the knockout round. Malta, 0-2 after day one. That's kind of like the same, the same mindset than Kosovo. That's the do or die for a one last chance to go into the next phase. It's going to be tough, though. Cyprus playing at home, and they can count on Mikhail without the blue head today. <laughs> For those that didn't know, he bumped heads with uh, Stein, if I'm not mistaken, against Luxembourg and uh, got a cut above the eyebrow. Stein also was open. The boys are going back to uh, warming up. Malta lost to Azerbaijan, game one, 20 to 14, and then couldn't do anything against Luxembourg. The defense was a bit too passive, and Luxembourg just fed on that with all the, all the off-ball action. We're dealing with a small technical problem, I believe, at the scores table, but they will be uh, right into the action in just a moment.
All right. Heard the whistle. Everybody clapping. So am I within my heart because I want the game to get started. Cyprus. Outclassed Azerbaijan unexpectedly. Not in the fact that they won, but that they won 22-11. Great execution to start off. One zip. Cyprus starting off just the way they finished the day. Collaborating, fighting, earning this possession back right away. And your yield. Not getting the call. Rightfully. Great hands from Schwereb. Iliadis pulls back. A little bit long. Try to volleyball pass the ball to uh, Yorgiu. The thought was good. The execution a bit less. Tretyakov having the mismatch. He's taking his time. And he's taking it right at the cup. Misses a little bit. Shoot up right away. And Mikhail is saying, let's take the play further. Let's take our time to execute. Yes, I understand Greek. If you didn't know me, I'm half Greek, baby. So I listen to whatever they say. <laughs> so Shwedeb on an island right over Iliadis, but he's off the mark. And Yorgiu has height advantage. And Yorgiu gets blocked. Great anticipation. The defense by Bujeya and Bujeya trying to knock it down. Iliadis finds the way to thread the needle in traffic. Short pass right there. Whoop, right under the arms of Schwereb. So it's gonna not going to be a shooting motion. It was more of a pass motion. This is the interpretation of the referee. So we're going to keep moving. Mikhail using speed off the catch. Oh, it's a nice take. He's been so good with this all tournament long. Bujeya. They didn't clear. Malta, you can't forget, Mr. Shwereb, when the opponent gets control back, even for a split second of the ball, then possession has shifted, and you have to clear the zone again. A new shot clock. Felice Pace. Deflected that ball out of bounds. Mikhail left wide open. What were you thinking? This boy is a baller. And from what I understand, he's not even completely in love with the XP yet. He's like slowly getting there. And he's made for this game. I'm telling you, he is made for this. 12 second shot clock violation. Simon Mikhail. A real match of problems for any other team. He's fast, he's tough, he's skilled. And another bucket. Just when I talk about it, Shwedeb. Great contest by Tretyakov. Tretyakov, that had position in the mismatch. They held on to the ball. And what we saw from Ireland earlier, the pass-pass back action should have happened right here. You got to reward the big boys when they do their job sealing 
a small defender in the paint. Glitch Pache. Using the fake, can't finish. Tretyakov always active on the boards. Great recognition right here, even though the pass was a little bit off. Yorgiu, nice. Very nice. Iliadis got caught off the closeout. Great execution of the two man game, but Yorgiu spoils dessert. Knockout, Felice Pace, a bit off. Cyprus in control. Great kick out, Iliadis didn't feel like it. Says, mm, I need the dribble and shoot it with the glass. Bang, bang, boogie, woogie, 7-1. Cyprus at home saying, uh-uh, this is our game. Shwareb, ISO mode, had to shoot it. It was going to be a 12-second shot clock violation. Tretyakov gives it up to Iliadis. And Yorgos Tretyakov just fights. He has position inside. Yorgiu didn't see him. And Tretyakov, great court awareness. Gives the ball up instead of shooting it. Good job, boy. And Shurev, unfortunately, sees the win, take the ball away to the left right as he shot it. Cyprus, a team you can count on, a team that has tasted the Europe Cup before. Yadis, collaborate, great law pass. Bujaya could not do anything. Obviously, Yorgiu and uh, Tretyakov have size advantage. Yorgiu, the pass from Iliadis was off the mark. Got to be more rigorous with the angles. Felice Pace, nice take, buddy. Using his body as protection. To Iliadis real low. All Iliadis could do at that point was foul. Great job finishing. Tretyakov doing his job, but the problem is he shoved too hard. I like this kid, Tretyakov. He's doing all the, how would you say this in English? I'm trying to look for the word, the dirty work, the, the work not everybody is willing to do. Sealing, screening, fighting, being scrappy, extra passing, all of that good stuff. Shwereb, nice hook shot. So, 8-3. Malta coming out alive a little bit. And Iliad is trying to shut that down, but he's getting no love. So I'm letting you know the clock is not 53 seconds. The clock is uh, four minutes and 46 seconds. So we're trying to we're trying to solve this problem. Tretyakov, great take with speed, shoot it up. Couldn't stop him. The shooter, Ujeya, off the mark a little bit. Iliadis catching with speed, Iliadis. And 
Yaris will benefit from the whistle. An opportunity to shoot a free throw and try to bump the lead up to six. A bit short, Bujaya. Great outlet pass, Shwireb. Uh, apparently, Felice Pache was not clearly behind the lane. Foot on the line, Kevin Durant style. So there's a, a little bit over four minutes left in this game. Liadis Yorgiu, great three-man action. The problem is that Yorgiu ended up being pushed out of position, stepped out of bounds. The thought process was the right one. Bujaya giving it up to Felice Pache and Felice Pache try to go back. There is absolutely no foul here, buddy. Don't look at the referees. He was already in position. Great defense. We'll see. See, Eliadis was right there. Absolutely no foul. Felice Pache had premeditated his move. Unfortunately for him. This Malta team, they're fighting, they're scrappy. They're a little bit undersized though. They don't have the inside presence to match up against teams like Ireland, uh, Cyprus, or Azerbaijan. It's a team that relies on outside shooting, so with the the actual conditions here in Cyprus, it makes their life quite hard, as you can see. And Mikhail stays with it, 10-4. Six point lead, Cyprus. Just doing what they need to do. Bujaya. And Mikhail was looking to outlet quick to Iliadis. That was the right thought. He couldn't secure the ball though. Fourth team foul against Cyprus. Great pass. Wrap around and Yoriu anticipated the position of his teammates. Pretty much was on autopilot at that point. Automatic outlet, but nobody was here. Cypress still comfortably in the lead though, plus five. And now three minutes left in this game. Turnover, Iliad is left by himself. And we can understand why. Well, with the wind blowing to the left, if you're shooting on the left-hand side at 45, you got the wind against you. If you're on the other side of the court, you got a wind behind you. And if you're in the middle, well, <laughs> you catch the drift. Shwereb got the help from the other one and the Shwereb connection working well on this one. Ten six. Malta still in this. Bujaya put Tretyakov in the blender. Cutting the lead to three. So the score is 10-7, and there's a uh, two minutes 23, so. They'll figure out the little technical problems, but you can trust me. I'm gonna tell you the time and the score. Two minutes 17. Mikhail drawing the foul. The score is 10 7. It's 10 7 with uh, 2 minutes 15 to go. One free throw coming for Mikhail.
Pomzavin, Tretiakov. Tretiakov, yet again. Bringing the intangibles you're looking for. Oh, oh, I told you. Malta is a team that can shoot it. Iliadis can't finish the work. And now, 11-9. This game much closer than you would have expected it to be, right? 11-9, This is the, the subtlety of 3x3. Don't look at the score. Don't think that for any reason a game is uh, finished until unless you have an, uh, you heard the buzzer a minute 40 it's like uh, an eternity in 3x3 great rebound Bujaya handoff action Felicia Pache gives it back to Bujaya attacking the closeout going baseline no foul call Mikhail right through the gap great drop the dish for Yoryu cutting and Mikhail so aggressive on the ball relentless with the ball pressure Shureb. Try to give it inside to Bujaya. Bujaya with speed. Try to kick it back out. Great defense. Iliadis by himself. Iliadis a bit impatient, maybe. Bujaya, 12-11, how about that, Tretiakov for the answer, and Tretiakov finishing, withstands contact, up to 13-11, Cyprus, Bujaya, thought about it, Felice Pace, great defense by Yorgos Tretiakov, Two seconds left on the shot clock. Felice Pace needs to shoot it. Great defense by Mikhail. Pass, pass back. Yorgiu in the pain. No, yes. Up three. So 16 seconds. All Cyprus needs to do is get a stop. And then hold on to the ball. Time is in their favor. The 12 second shot clock now at this point of the game is their best friend. And we see the drive, the spin, and the sweet dime. Yorgio finishing strong. Obviously, Malta needs a two-point shot, then a steal. It looks quite compromised, but Malta fought their way back in this game with pride. And Mikhail with the steal, the pass. This game is over. Congratulations to Cyprus finishing the game. And of course, Cyprus will try to score and uh, bump their, their scoring up to 17 with a two-point shot. Even 16 would be fine for them. Iliadis, Iliadis. Bada boom, bada bing, bada bang, 17-11. That's a great job by Cyprus, especially in the case of a three-way tie, bringing the score up to 17. You can tell this team is experienced. They understand the game of 3x3. They play the game the right way. They're tough. Good job, Malta. We'll see you again, though.
Those boys came out to play with heart. They just came up short. Next game up, Albania and Andorra. That's a game that's going to be watched by Ireland with a lot of attention. It's coming right up. All right, all right, all right. Albania and Andorra. We'll try to settle these things. Kosovo is already out the tournament. We know this. So Albania, no matter what happens, will uh, go into the knockout round. But that means that they're going to be playing against either Luxembourg, Cyprus, or Azerbaijan. Pick your poison, may I say. The main thing for them is to play better to figure things out, Andorra has control of its destiny with a win. They finish first seed of the group. That's a nice dish right there. Usman, he's been doing that all tournament long. Andorra has been playing the game the right way. Shahini getting pushed, but Shahini staying strong. Two zip, Albania starting off hot. So, sorry for the delay, but the wind just took the umbrella right in front of me. Everything crashed. Yeah. <laughs> Apocalypse now. <laughs> I got the help of everybody out here. Thank you. Ap Apocalyptic vision. <laughs> Albania up to starting off the game the right way. The main thing about this group right now is that Ireland thinks, hey, what about Albania wins? And 
What about Andorra scores less than 15? That would shuttle everything. That would shuffle all the cards. Shahini draws the foul. Inside, Giuselli. Can't put the finishing touch, but that was a nice take by Tolome. Try to get it, try to measure the strength of the wind. Unfortunately, couldn't quite figure it out. Osman gives it to Giuselli. Giuselli going to the other way. Shahini, offensive board. The basket counts. Giuselli got hit in the nose, in the mouth, in the face. We don't quite know. We'll see. Ah, yes, the elbow. Is he bleeding? Oh, yeah, I hope not. But yeah, we saw the elbow, involuntary elbow, of course, from Marin. Three zip, Albania. Starting off the game the right way. Mofreta. It was a good shot. Handoff action. Marin, great contest by Shaini. The main problem for Andorra right now, Andorra is a team that relies a lot on the, its ability to shoot the ball from a distance and to space the floor. And now Albania, with uh, the size, the height, has a clear advantage in this game, 4-1. They're staying in the paint, the crowd. Giuselli using that size advantage yet again. Apollon White, pleasure to coach Anna. The Apollon White support Anna. Fernandez missing the shot. Grazdani. Grazdani manages to keep control of the ball and the size of Albania. Clearly a factor in this game. Fernandez. That was a good take. The vet, the 3x3 veteran couldn't get it. Grazdani went soft. I must say, I don't reward players that go up soft. And that was the case right now with Vincent Grazdani. But the whistle was blown, Bartolome, nice rebound. And Bartolome draws the foul on Giuselli. So 5-2, ISO mode activated, Giuselli gets Marin, Giuselli elevates, good contest by Marin, Mofreta, Marin at the free throw line, that was a good shot, that was a very good shot. Grazdani fake handoff action, and he got his cookies taken by Bartolome. So I remind you, what's at stake? In case of a win we'll, from Albania, we'll have a three-way tie at the top with Andorra, Ireland, and Albania. 
And then it's going to be great steal, Mofreta. It's going to be a deal of points scored, most points scored of the three teams. We'll finish top, and they'll do the ranking with such process. If two teams end up with the same number of points scored, then it's going to be the head-to-head -head matchup. And if and if the math is good, then that's how you go. Actually, you don't do. You go only with a head-to-head -head matchup if it's a two, if it's a two-team tie. So then it's about the seeding before the tournament. But don't worry, that happens very rarely but it does happen i've seen it happen the great pass but bartolome couldn't secure the ball and now oh yes oh yes oh yes unfortunately 12 second shot clock violation but i love the court awareness of oriol fernandez Pull up, swish it, swish, swish. It's a one pointer, not a two pointer. It's a one pointer. So it should be seven four. Corrected, 7-4. Thank you very much. So Albania right now is shuffling the cards in the group. Usman finishing tough, 8-4. And Dora getting upset right now. Ball given back to Andorra. It's not just about winning or losing for Andorra, because even with the loss, they can finish top of the group, but they need to have more points in the end than Ireland. Ireland has 55 so far after three games, and Andorra, after two games, has 40. So they need to score 16 at least, and they will secure top of the group. Offensive foul on Shahini. Elbow action with Fernandez. The lob pass on Bartolome. Great strength. And Marine playing defense in the half circle.
Marin just has to clear the space. Shahini missing the free throw. So indoor, only down three. Still a lot of three three to play. Five minutes left. Shahini at the elbow. They're going with the inside matchup. Giselli doing a great job finishing. Mofreta giving it up to Bartolome. That was a good shot. But you got to knock them down. Good shots are not enough. This month. Can't get it. And Bartolome shooting it up, shooting it well. 9 7. Giselli is going to have to shoot this. And now Andorra has a kind of a momentum shift with over four minutes to go. Bartolome pulls within range. That's a smart play. Instead of forcing the two, gets closer. That reduces the impact of the win. And that's a great defense. Mofreta fighting for possession along with Marin and Bartolome. They understand they are undersized, but if you play them low, you push at the hips, you can compensate for lack of centimeters. And just like that, Endora back in the hunt. 9-8. Another one. Oh, no, Mofreta. Almost made up for it with the steal. So Andorra using speed to its advantage. So, Albania with the ball. Let's see if the timeout was a, a productive one. Zelly. Alley oop action. I like what they came up with out the timeout. Mofreta, mid-range pull-up, a bit long. Anusa, giving it inside, three-man action. That's the way to finish tough. Grasdani, the great pass. Oh, that's what Endora excels so good at. Mofreta, active hands, great defense. Pass, pass inside, and Fernandez. Smart, got the ball on the glass as quick as he could. Stayed strong. Giselli could not quite anticipate the trajectory well enough. Went for the ball, and he fouled.
Lob pass for Shahini. Shahini staying strong. Shahini not strong enough. Grazdani got his cookies taken. And Fernandez giving it up. Bartolome a little bit off the mark, but he gets his own offensive rebound. So now they're going to try to find a way to create some kind of gap because everybody's crowding the paint for Albania. Guys, Big Aris and Gene Aris to proceed to court one. Seventh team foul against Andorra. Two free throws. Zelli gets his cookies taken. Bartolome playing tough. What a pass. Oh no. For dead style for Bartolome. But I love the basketball IQ from Fernandez. Mofreta trying to match up, but Giselli is just too tough. Mofreta answers right back. Once again, Fernandez with the great court awareness. Quick transition, Giuselli crossed Mofreta up and Fernandez with the answer, big bucket. 13 apiece with 48 seconds left. And the offensive foul against Mofreta. Shahini. Both teams in the penalty now. Albania with six. The next foul would be the seventh. And once again, the back door. Giselli this time said, look, guys, you had me twice. You're not going to get me three times. It's my last one to touch that ball. So Endora will start with a new 12-second shot clock and another opportunity to take the lead. Bartolome, I told you about it. Ooh, Bartolome. And Fernandez yet again. Fernandez. The great passing of Oriol Fernandez. Two shots coming up for Bartolome. And Bar 
Bartolome knocks down the first. And he's knocking it down in very poor conditions. And Fernandez yet again was trying to just quickly dish it to Bartolome with the bounce. Up one, Andorra now in the driver's seat. I told you, 3x3 basketball. And Fernandez tried to go for it. 21 seconds for Albania. He might have rushed it a little bit, and he knows it. Apologize to his teammates. Usa gives it up to Shiny Giuseli, turnaround jumper. Giuseli, what a hit. Mofreta kicks it out to Bartolome for two. No, the win said, I'm not going to help you. Ooh, ma, 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 ma. Six seconds. Warning against Andorra for coaching. And the ball in the hands of Albanians for the decision. A win in overtime for Andorra would be the perfect setting as they would have to score two points and then finish with 16, which would mean that no matter what, they would be first seed. And if the game goes to overtime and they lose, then that's literally the worst that could happen. Although Andorra is the second seed in the tournament, which means that they would be right over Ireland as the third seed. Ha, ha, ha. Yes, I said it. He's a Oh, Giuseli, no foul. And Bartolome for the win. Bartolome throws a prayer. No. Unless they're giving a new, they shouldn't give a new shot clock, but they will actually. Because it's the foot kicking, uh-oh, Bartolome inside. They cannot afford to foul. Shahini for the win, Fernandez. Short, now Albania with the ball. Yusa. Great bounce pass to Giuseli in traffic. Bartolome 
Gives it up to Fernandez. Usa, Usa for the win, off the mark. And now Andorra with the opportunity to finish this off. Undefeated in pool play. The great bounce pass, Bartolome goes up. Ooh, the foul call, he has two free throws now with the opportunity to propel Andorra directly into the semifinals. And he does. Andorra, congratulations. Albania, we'll see you in the next round. If you play like that, you're gonna be a tough matchup for anybody. So looking forward to see that. Last game of the first session today. Luxembourg against Azerbaijan. That's a game I wanna see. Because I wanna see if Azerbaijan is gonna wake up and show out the way I expected them to show out after game one. And Luxembourg, I wanna see them tested against a very strong team. I remind you, Azerbaijan is the number one seed in the men's bracket overall. So we'll see in just a few moments. Luxembourg and Azerbaijan battling it out. A lot at stake for Azerbaijan and for Luxembourg. I will explain to you everything in just a minute. So we're introducing the team Luxembourg with number two, St. Victor Paul Henry. With number eight, Loris Christoff. With number six, Kershley Big Arthur. All right, last game of the morning session. Last game in the men's bracket. Luxembourg against Azerbaijan. It's pretty simple. If Azerbaijan wins, then Cyprus will be first seed and go directly into the semifinal. And Azerbaijan starting off the game with a lot of intensity. The intensity that we didn't, did not see against Cyprus. Morton, the take, no foul call. They're going right with Andy in the paint. Turnaround jumper, ooh. And our Capitano, Zayev, tried to give it right back to Pola Dhandi, but the pass was too strong. So with the win of Azerbaijan, Cyprus ends up top seed and Luxembourg would actually end up number three seed. With a win, Luxembourg cleans up the plate. 3-0 record will go straight into the semifinal as the top seed of the group, which would be 
quite a nice show out. Being the fifth seed in the men's bracket at the start, the foul on the shot. You have to enable the shooter to land safely, which was not the case. Vic Ushling will get the free throw to go and will try to tie this game up to one apiece. Ashling went back at it again. The great kick out for the shooter. Good fight from Ashling. It's always tough to keep Amil Amzayev off the offensive board. The ball movement, the ball slips from Pashayev's hands. And the great take on the baseline. To the left, to the left. Akbarov. And Pashayev knocked the ball out. So now, the ball pressure. Pashayev gives it up to Andy, drawing the foul. Azerbaijan starting off the game tough. It's a team to be reckoned with. It's a team that ambitions to go to the Europe Cup. Again, they've tasted it last year, and they want another taste at it this year. Oh, bang, bang, Andy. Shaking the rim up. You gotta love it. Polat Hanli, he's a tough cookie, I tell you. Three zip. Morton, great footwork. Ooh, gotta finish. Bashayev by himself. The ball was on target. The shot was flat, though. Morton trying to collaborate. Flash action right through the middle, but the matchup is not the easiest one against Akbarov. And he can't get the angle off the rim. Amzayev getting called for the foul. Zayev getting warned for talking to the ref. You can exchange, but you can't keep up with it for too long. Morton pulls back. Tough shot and good box out by Pashayev. Amzayev, great seal, but the contest from Morton. Staying strong, pushing back. Loud as the flash. And Morton getting no love. Luxembourg has to find the answer with the physical intensity of Azerbaijan. There you go, ball movement, Stein, the flash. Stein, good patience, but yet they can't finish. Good thing Ushling. And Minho. Warn Luxembourg for delay of game. You cannot put ball pressure within the half circle. TV timeout. Three one for Azerbaijan. Luxembourg. 
struggling a bit to uh, display the great offensive game they've had since the beginning of this tournament. And the key, and uh, I was talking with the staff yesterday, kind of like a, a short debrief. The main thing for Luxembourg, the next step uh, into building the program, as they've done already a great job at it, is to be able to sustain their game plan with the defensive pressure of higher level teams. And if they manage to do that, then they can make that jump. They have the mindset, they have the, the 3x3 culture, so it's all about keeping up with the improvement. Pushayev! Oh, wow. Come on, El Capitano. You can't spoil dessert that way, especially when it's served on the platter by Pushayev like that. Zayev upset with himself. Got to think about the next play now. Ushling, the kick out. The loudest, the shooter, gets his cookies taken. Pashayev putting on a show. Polan Hanli. Great context. Amzayev, seal position. Collaborating, Parad Hanli, the pull up, rims out. Three point lead, Ashling trying to cut it down to one. And Pashayev, very active since the beginning of the game. The ladies and staff of Luxembourg is being heard in the stands, encouraging their troops. Ashling, low post action, Amzayev, good hands, good defense. Pashayev, hey man, where have you been? I didn't see you like that yesterday. I guess the man is clutch, he likes the big moment. He wants to give Azerbaijan an opportunity to finish. Top two and the N1, Laudis. Laudis can knock the free throw down. Zayev collaborating with Pashayev, Pashayev thought about it. Going back in it, Pashayev, what's going on, buddy? What's going on? What did you eat this morning? I want the same thing. I want to have a plate of whatever Pashayev ate this morning. So please, somebody, make it to go, because I got some work to do. The shooter, Akbarov. Akbarov, Jabrail, can't get his shooting touch yet, but he's a baller. Morton. Technical foul on Pashayev. And Morton missing the free throw. So no incidents outside of bumping up the, the number of fouls for Azerbaijan to five. They only have one foul to give before being in the bonus. Great action, Morton. Oh, no! Oh, baby, this is such a heartbreaker every time I see this happen. Pashayev. Pashayev filling himself as he should. And Stein went right to the cup. Ashling staying strong, cutting down the lead to three. Andy, that's an offensive foul, or is it a defensive foul? Defensive foul. Okay. So one free throw coming up for Andy. And our Poran Hanli. 
Knocks it down. 9-4, Azerbaijan in the lead. Stein. And the ball will be given back to White. Morton, long range. Morton fights for possession, but he stepped out of bounds. Nine four. Pashayev coming off the screen. Pashayev with the left couldn't withstand the contact of Laudis. But Pashayev is playing aggressive, giving them a great boost. Laudis lost his balance. Pashayev, fast break city, no. Great hustle for Morton. TV timeout. We're under four minutes. And Azerbaijan keeps control of this game right now, leading by five. So Luxembourg in this tournament, they dominated Malta, winning 17-9, and then they won the thriller in Limassol against Cyprus in overtime, 19-17, a very physical game, tough game, two teams deserving. And then Azerbaijan started off the tournament impressively, 2014, playing just average by their standards against Malta. And then they literally evaporated against Cyprus. The intensity, the effort just wasn't there. Great execution! Pashayev with the back door. We got to talk about Pashayev today. I'm telling you. Pashayev, Pashayev, Pashayev. If you didn't know the name now, you've heard me say it quite enough. And the rebound, he's everywhere, and he draws the foul. Third team foul against Luxembourg. Akbarov, the great flash through the middle. Polatranli. Zayev sitting down under the basket, a sling fighting back. Mashayev. And the big two, Polat Hanli. The big, big hit, 13-5, under three minutes to go. Now, Luxembourg needs to find a way. Stein misses after working so hard to get that layup. Pashayev. Going in, the great kick out pass. Ooh, and Pashayev. After the pass, setting up the shot, Akbarov doing the job on the offensive board. Great hands from Stein. And the foul, 16th foul against Azerbaijan.
So Akbarov, Jabrail. Coming to life. Outside of his comfort zone with the offensive rebounding, the driving, good hands. Polar Hanley. Morton trying to find a solution. And he can't. 12 second shot clock violation. Good defense by Amil Amzayev. Two minutes to go. Warning for Luxembourg. Timeout asked by Azerbaijan. Comfortably in the lead, 14-7, two minutes to go. Enough action at the top. The flash. Volant Hanli, he's very active with the cuts in the back of the defense, and that's a foul from Azayev. 17 foul against Azerbaijan. Two free throws coming up for Luxembourg. Morton knocks down the first. Well, Hanley. So 14-9, Luxembourg will keep fighting as they should. Morton right at the free throw. Great take and better finish. So now they cut the lead to four points. One minute 18. Polar Hanli going strong, drawing the foul. And it's not on Stein, it's on Morton. Actually, I said on Morton, it's on Laudis. Play on the ball. Andy missing the free throw. So now, a minute and ten. Morton. Oh, what a big hit! Don't worry about the wind. He does not care. Scott, Mart Scott Morton. And now, Azerbaijan with two seconds left. He's going to have to shoot it. Amzayev doesn't touch the rim. And Luxembourg, just like that, is back in the game. Under a minute to go, we know Azerbaijan cannot afford to foul. Two free throws would, would fall in the hands of Luxembourg at that moment. And Morton going at it. Morton, the man of the hour, competing. Luxembourg has one foul to give. 14-13, Azerbaijan. Uh-oh, the double cross. Polar Hanli. No, the rebound. Morton. Azerbaijan cannot afford to foul. Morton, Morton. Ooh, Morton with the ball rimming out. Still have time. They need to stop, though. Amzayev didn't stay on the play. Morton going with the spin. Ties this thing to 14 apiece. So now it's going to be one last possession. Azerbaijan with the ball to win it. All that's needed is a one-pointer, one bucket. Pull it, Henley, turn the ball over. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Stein with the ball. Laudis, Laudis. He's going to shoot for the game. Stein for the game winner. No. Oh, Azerbaijan. 
Azerbaijan will feel like they've kind of spoiled everything they've worked for in this game. Allowing Luxembourg to pull back and tie this team to 14 apiece in regulation. Now it's a new game starting. Everything can happen, especially with the sweet shooting of Morton. You do not know. You just don't know. So Luxembourg will start with the ball. What are they gonna look for? Are they gonna look for a quick bucket and kinda avoid the whole process of being stuck looking for a two? Or are they going for the kill shot? Morten goes in. Great take, Pashayev. Low pass. Polat Hanli. Pulls back, he's gonna go for the win. Pull at Handy, he know the ball got taken away. So now Luxembourg only needs one layup. They need one bucket. Morton said, let me take care of it. I'm going right at Pashayev. The pass and flow. No, 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 yes. Luxembourg, show you what 3x3 is about. Luxembourg, the game is never over until it's over. They were down seven, 14-7. And then they turned it around. Great job, fellas. Luxembourg finishing top of the group with a perfect 3-0 record. How about that? You didn't see that coming, did you? Uh-huh. So that's the end of the first session of the day. We finished up the pool action in the men's bracket. And Dora. Finishing with a 3-0 record, just like Luxembourg. Those two punched their tickets to the semifinals right away. Cyprus, number two seed. And Azerbaijan, number three seed in Pool A. In Pool B, it's going to be Ireland, number two seed. And Albania, number three seed. So the matchups will be Albania against Cyprus. Azerbaijan against Ireland. We're going to have some great game this afternoon. I'm telling you, we're going to have some great game this afternoon. So, I'm giving you a rendezvous at 3 p.m. You do not want to miss this. Go get some food, go get some rest, and I'll see you in a few hours.